Now, as we told you earlier, Andrew Twiggy Forest's private company, Tatarang, today announced itself as a major player in the rollout of renewable energy in Australia by agreeing to buy CWP Renewables, which already owns some of the biggest wind and solar farms in the country. I spoke with Andrew Forrest earlier and started by asking about his thinking on this reported $4 billion deal. Yeah, look, I'd add on a bit of change to that number, Ross, but uh, to us, the most attractive part of CWP was a really great leadership team. But then, of course, to have this uh, critical mass, which dovetails so well with Squadron, we're already building out Australia's largest grid connected green energy project. We've got assets all through Victoria and New South Wales as well. But when you combine it with CWP, suddenly we've got operating assets of a couple of gigawatts and a pipeline of at least 10 times that of projects, which we will bring on as soon as the market needs them. Now we're not leadership, management, technology, or capital constrained as a group, and we can get on with the job of stepping Australia beyond fossil fuels, Ross, and lowering the uh, cost of living and increasing the standard of living, which we should have done decades ago by bringing in green energy. OK, so 2.4 gigawatts is what's there now. That's the equivalent of one of Australia's largest coal-fired power stations as it stands. But you've got plans to go to 20 gigawatts. How do you get that? Where does the capital come from to develop out those extra wind and, and, and solar stations that you'll need in the future? Ross, as you, may, as you may know, and at some cost, uh, myself and my team travelled throughout COVID to explore fully what the energy balances were of the world and what the capital available to the transitioning energy balance is. And what, what we're sure of now is that there's trillions of dollars of capital which are willing to back project management and company leadership with deep track record of success and a pipeline of projects which are connected to sovereign state uh, energy markets with very high grade credit and those that capital will come straight into Australia and by the way we have one of the largest superannuation fund industries right here in Australia. This is an opportunity also for mums and dads of Australia to participate in what is right now a very attractive uh, investment portfolio but what will have obviously become green energy and green products the largest industry in the world. OK, so then take me to what that energy will be used for. Will it be used for heating homes, lighting homes, or will it be used to create the electricity you require for your other ambition, which is to create green hydrogen? No, I think we do first things first. We'll power the eastern seaboard, and when we grow into Western Australia, Western Australia as well, but we'll power the whole industrial base of the eastern seaboard with as much renewable energy electricity as they demand and they're demanding enormous amounts plus homes right now um, w once we develop this portfolio out we can supply eight and a half million homes Ross so this is this is a very significant step for Australia um, and a very significant step of course for our group but we want to see other companies Ross come in and join the green ecosystem so that we can bring down the cost of energy we can increase the abundance of energy and of course the standard of living every Australian deserves should rise because we've lowered the cost of energy. OK, so can this be done quickly enough, this rollout of this infrastructure, without requiring the coal-fired power stations to go on for a few extra years or for, for gas interchanges to be basically there um, for the short-term blips that Australia no doubt will have as it goes through this transition? Yeah, Ross, absolutely. We, we will need support of state and national policy to enable the quick rollout, but we know the projects are there, we have them. We know the markets are there, we have them, and we know the capital is there. Uh, we can access it and we have it. So the rollout, Ross, will be dependent upon government policy, both at state and national level. But what I really love about it most, Ross, is that we're diving deep into regional Australia, where I'm from where the head of CWP is from, where the head of Squadron Energy is from. We're all bush kids and we're really looking forward to driving the economic growth and the long-term prosperity of regional Australia. Now, this is a big win for regional Australia. The whole green energy industry is a big win for regional Australia. 
And given the fact that the government is seeking caps on coal prices of $120 per tonne uh, for generating uh, electricity, also caps for gas prices as well, does that help the viability of rolling out renewables or does it harm it? I think what you're seeing, Ross, um, is a moving of the goalposts, which is always very tricky for business who have to invest in long-term projects. But we understand why the government is doing it. But, Ross, what it really drives home hard, so we needed another reminder, is just how dangerous it is for any economy, for any people, for any nation like ours, to have relied upon fossil fuel. We know the more you use fossil fuel, the more expensive it becomes, the more dangerous it becomes, but the more weaponized, as we've seen with Ukraine, it can become. Stepping away from fossil fuel like we should have done decades ago and stepping into our green energy future brings down that, that cost of energy, increases our standard of living, and, of course, it's, it's a democratic energy. It's a thousand times what you'll ever get out of fossil fuel and it's available everywhere Ross so it's something which Australia should have done and seeing these caps come on uh, coal these caps come on gas is just tantamount uh, evidence that we should have made this transition years ago and we've got to crack on and do it like squadron CWP and the whole Fortescue group is doing right now. Andrew Forrest always good to chat to you many thanks for your time today.